What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to uh, share with you guys how to use the core track, or not really how to use it, but I'm getting used to using it myself. So I'm going to share it with you guys right now in this video. I have a couple of tracks already loaded. Like, I want to share with you guys how to not how to but how I have been utilizing some of the tools that I've been sharing with you guys in these past couple of episodes how do you go about using the MPC as an instrument and I know I've been talking about it so you know we talk it we live it and we share it I don't want you know for you guys to think, oh, I'm just sharing these things and I'm not using it myself. So, we have uh, about 12 tracks, two of which, three of which are instruments that's not in the MPC, and the rest of them are coming from the MPC itself. So, I want to start with the chord track. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, solo this. So the chord track, this this uh sample is in the key of E minor. So the chord track definitely read it correctly. It detected it correctly. But I'm having issues when I tune it. It's not reading it correctly. And I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to remove this, uh, remove chords. And I'm going to transpose it up three. Or if it'll go to three. So now I'll detect it. Set chords and as you can see it's still reading it as E minor right so I'm gonna undo that let me see something so now I'm gonna bounce this pitched version So we know that's pitch. So now I'm going to detect it. So as you can see, it detects it as G minor rather than E minor. So if I detect this one, detect. As you can see, it's a difference. So what you need to do is, if you run into this issue, is that you have to bounce. If you tune it, you have to bounce it in order for a chord detect to work properly. You can't pitch it, meaning transpose it up or down, and then detect it without bouncing it because once you do that it'll uh if you transpose it and don't um 
sorry, if you transpose it and don't detect, if you transpose it and don't bounce the chords down, it won't read it correctly. It'll read the original pitch and tuning of the uh, of the sample. Okay, so that's just a, a, a tip to the wise. Um, I tested it out with several different pitches and I know for a fact that in order for it to work, you have to bounce it down. All right. It's not that it don't work. It works, but you have to bounce the audio. The other thing that I believe that um, Persona has dropped the ball with is that we can't drag the the uh the detection to midi notes now i believe that's a business idea for the the execs at um personas being that they work hand in hand with um melodyne because if you have the professional version of studio one you're a you get the essential um version of melodyne and in melodyne you can detect the the pitches and the chords and you can drag and drop if you have melodyne studio so i think that's a business idea i won't get in too deep with that but i think they dropped the ball with that not having that inside of um studio one because you know we'll we'll enjoy that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this uh this uh that track. So now the other thing is the follow the chords or follow the detection. So you have to have follow on in order for this to work. Alright. So I have this melody that's being played. I played it inside of the MPC, but I brought it inside of uh, Studio One. So I'm gonna play that for you. If I go to follow chords, now you have to have the inspector open right here for for you to get the um the option to follow the chords and layers follow events needs to be checked and you go down here to where it says follow chords right now it's off but if I uh they give us a couple options, parallel, narrow, base, scale, and universal. I'm gonna go ahead and choose parallel. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. You have to make sure that you, um, you actually have the right track selected. So you get different options when you're on a, a actual instrument, a VST instrument, rather than when you're on like a, a wave, an audio wave file. So I'm going to play it with parallel. That's cool. Let's undo that. Let's do narrow. That's cool. 
don't sound too crazy and <clears throat> and then the bass is what i use for the 808s i'll test it out with the um the actual piano You can see, you know, it has its potential. Like you literally could play anything on a piano, on a keyboard, and then utilize this follow chords function and then come up with some funky stuff. So now the 808, I played it in a key of um of E, and it it's still kind of out of tune to me a little bit. But with the uh the actual, let me see if I could take it off and what it does. So this is the bass played originally without it following the chords. All right, so now if I follow the, the, um, the chords, you see it moved up. You know, the possibilities are endless with, with this chord function. Now that we're on the 808, I use sample one to, to do this little shindig, the trickery. And I'm not happy with uh, sample one, XT, like, uh, I don't know if Studio One Personas released the beta to the public, if they rushed the idea, because Sample One and Sample One XT, Sample One without XT is far superior to Sample One XT in its current state. Um, I'm not positive if I'm doing something wrong, I've heard other people uh, say the same things. Um, the velocity isn't working for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. No. The glide is cool. They always had the glide, but now it works a little bit different. It's cool, but it ain't. it's not Ralph though. You know what I mean? So if Studio One, Personas, if y'all listening, you guys need to go in on the coding for sample one because it's not the best. I'm not here to tear anybody down, but we spend the money for this. So if we spend the money for it, it better work the way that it's designed to work. All right. So, yeah, y'all got to work on this velocity situation. And um, a couple other things. I'll do another video on it, but I just wanted to chime in on that. So that's ultimately, you know, the chords, the follow the chords function. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. Everything else is just, you know, percussion, kick, snare, hi-hat, regular stuff. Um, as you can see right now, 
I'm not playing anything, but you can see it's at 80, it's bouncing up between 80 and 90 um, CPU usage and nothing's playing. I'm just talking to you. Now, granted, the screen capture software is taking a toll on the, um, on the, the overall CPU, but still though, it's very glitchy in, um, in what it's doing like before i turned on the, the the camera i was still having issues with uh the glitchiness and you know when you switch from uh a midi instrument a midi instrument one vst to the next it glitches out like in studio one 3.5 we wasn't having that issue so i'm not sure why that's going on here but um that's pretty much it man the only other thing left to do now is just to add additional sounds to this song um and put it in song format uh if you come across the issue of when you're bouncing down when you start a track and you have initially the npc or a machine and you uh where is it and you go and you expand the tracks and you're just starting on the mix window um i had some some i had a <laughs> i had a brain fart and i wasn't able to figure out like hey how can i get it into the arranger window so i could actually arrange this because none of these were here so what you what you ultimately have to do i showed the steps in a um in a prior video is that you actually have to come in here and export the MIDI once you export the MIDI drag it over into the arranger window that's the quickest way to do it I had a brain fart shout out to um craftmaster because he was like yo just uh just drag and drop it. I'm like, drag and drop it? Why do that? How to do that? Because I'm talking about from the mixer window. But that's beyond the point. The point is, the easy way to do it is just to drag and drop it over into... Uh, over into the arranger window. And then, you know, you could just duplicate it up and arrange a song. But I'm not ready to do that as yet. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, light. Till next time. If you have any comments, likes, or concerns, post it up in the comment section and I'll get back to you at my most earliest convenience. I right? love and light. Till next time.